Hello friends of the Othamo channel. In this video, we are going to show you how to use the XS EOS package to calculate the normal boiling point of any hexane with the Peng Robinson equation of state. In addition, we are going to calculate the mass densities of the vapor and liquid phases in equilibrium at the normal boiling condition. Thus, we have a vapor-liquid equilibrium condition for a pure substance. The fugacities of n-hexane in the liquid and in the vapor phases should be equal. As a consequence, the logarithms of these fugacities should be equal, and the difference between them should be zero at equilibrium. The logarithm of the fugacity is the result of adding the logarithm of the fugacity coefficient and the logarithm of pressure. In this slide, we see that the logarithm of pressure will cancel out, and then the practical equation that we need to solve within the excess COS environment is that the difference between the logarithm of the fugacity coefficients in the vapor and in the liquid phases should be equal to zero. To do that, we'll use two intrinsic functions of the excess COS package, PR len phi L and PR len phi V, which return the logarithm of the fugacity coefficient of the liquid and vapor phases, respectively. Once the phase equilibrium condition is found, we will determine the mass density by dividing the molar mass by the molar volume. To calculate the molar volume, we will use two intrinsic functions of the excess US package, PRVL and PRVV, they return predictions for the molar volume of the liquid and vapor phases according to the peng robinson equation of state. We start by using len phi L to calculate the logarithm of the gas coefficient of the liquid phase. The first argument is the universal gas constant, followed by the temperature, then the pressure, the mole fraction, of which is 1, and the properties of n hexane needed by the Peng Robinson equation of state. Then we repeat the process by calling the function len phi v for the vapor phase. It takes the same arguments, the universal gas constant, the temperature, the pressure, the mole fraction, and the properties of n hexane. Now that we have both fugacity coefficients, their logarithms, we take the difference of these logarithms, which is not equal to zero because we guessed the wrong temperature for the normal boiling point of hen hexane. We now use Excel solver to set this cell, the difference in logarithms, to the value of zero, and we will change the temperature in this process to find the normal boiling temperature and we now press solve, and we get that the normal boiling temperature of N hexane according to the Peng Robinson equation of state is 341.97 Kelvin. So this is the equilibrium temperature, and we are now ready to calculate the molar volumes of the vapor and liquid phases beginning with the liquid phase. We use PRVL, and the sequence of arguments is the same as before. R temperature, pressure, mole fraction, and the properties of N hexane. We now divide the molar mass by the molar volume, and we find the mass density of N hexane in the liquid phase. We repeat the process by dividing the molar mass by the molar volume of the vapor phase in equilibrium. And to do the molar volume, we need to enter the PRVV function. And finally, we get the mass density of the vapor phase. It's interesting to observe that the deviation between the calculated and experimental normal boiling temperatures of N hexane is less than 0.5%. Thus, there is excellent agreement between the two results. Thank you very much for watching this presentation. Let me take this opportunity to invite you to subscribe to the Uthamal channel on YouTube. Also, let me invite you to visit our Facebook page. My name is Marcelo Castier, 
Thank you very much again and see you in the next video.